guys, welcome to Radio WLRE. This is your host, Luna Ruby Eclipse. And as long as everything goes well, you should be watching this on October 17th, which is my one year anniversary. I seriously cannot believe it's been a year already. And in that time, I really have learned a lot. I feel like I'm still very much at square one in my VTubing journey, but I feel like this year was a very important one for me. And I learned a lot about myself as far as the direction I want to take this. So I just wanted to take a brief moment to talk about that today. So first I'm going to give a little background about my history. So on this day in 2022, I started streaming on the app Reality. Yes, actually this model was completed by then. In fact, it was completed in August of last year, but I was still very nervous about going on to Twitch and starting everything. So I decided to give Reality a shot. So the very first thing that I did as a VTuber was read Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, the 18th 31 edition and I started on October 17th even though I wanted to start a few weeks before because well one I was nervous and second off I thought that I would get it done way sooner than I did um it took me until December to complete every single chapter of that book and at that time I did get a few viewers here and there and I started with two streams a week but as I continued I just kept getting a little more tired of it so I went down to one stream a week and when I completed Frankenstein I was so proud of myself because before then I didn't really think I could ever finish what I set out to accomplish. I didn't have that confidence in myself and that whole thing gave me a huge boost in confidence. I do not regret doing that whatsoever. So cut to January 8th of this year I started streaming on Twitch and my first stream I think went pretty well. I had eight viewers which was freaking awesome. Thank you to everyone who came to view that first stream and supported me. I really appreciate it. And so in that time, I also tried to do the same thing I did with streaming on reality and do two streams a week. But as I continued, I got more and more tired, especially since I'm working a full-time job right now. And streaming is honestly a lot. You know, people outside of entertainment tend to say that it's money for nothing, but in reality, in entertainment, there is no such thing as money for nothing. And despite knowing this from my own experiences in high school doing theater and chorus, I still went into this thinking it was going to be a lot easier than it was. And streaming when you're working a full-time job is extremely difficult. And this is coming from somebody who worked two part-time jobs at once for a year. So I dropped down to one stream a week, like I did last time. And then February hit. And that was one of the roughest patches of my life I have, have had in a very long time. To summarize what happened, uh, several horrible things happened in my life. First off, an elderly coworker that I was very close to passed away. Then very soon after, my back went completely out of alignment. My left leg was longer than my right for a little bit. And then right after that, my cat gets diagnosed with diabetes. So at that point, I was just not in the headspace to stream. I was burned out, I didn't have the emotional battery, I couldn't do it anymore, so I decided to quit streaming on the same day that I had my first chiropractic appointment. And that was really hard for me, honestly. I felt like I had failed. I mentioned earlier that I had, I don't have confidence in necessarily finishing what I started, and Again, that just proved to me that I was right. I couldn't finish anything I started and I was a failure. So then, cut to later this year, and I found out that YouTube made it a little bit easier to get your videos monetized. And suddenly, I got to thinking, why don't I give YouTube videos a shot? I watched a lot of videos for tips for streaming to help me out when I first started. And one of the first ones I watched specifically said, if you find out that streaming is not for you, go ahead and try YouTube out for size, see what happens. And so it took me a while to build up the energy to try it. But then in July, I finally got the motivation to do this. And this is my fourth video. So, so far, so good. 
And I have to admit, I enjoy this way more than I ever enjoyed streaming. The thing is, when you're streaming, it does take a lot out of your personal time. And I'm the type of person who needs a lot of personal time to recharge my social battery. So I feel like making YouTube videos has helped a lot with that. I can kind of create at my own pace. Even though when I was working on that second video that I absolutely hated editing. And then I got like over 75 views on that. So thank you guys so much because again, that was a huge boost to my confidence. So yeah, so far so good. I am really enjoying YouTubing and I don't think I am going to return to streaming. So today I decided to make this video as a one year retrospective to make a point. I know that a lot of people who are VTubers decide to stream and I have nothing against that. I think that's great as long as it's what you want to do. But the reality is not everybody is going to want to do it. And I'm just not one of those streaming types. It's a lot of work. And that's not to say that editing YouTube videos isn't also a lot of work. But I feel like it's more the type of work that I enjoy. Honestly, the biggest mistake I have made with starting VTubing is that I was so desperate for success that I tried doing what everybody else was doing. And it made me miserable. And now that I'm doing more of what I want to be doing and focusing on rock, which was my whole point to begin with, I feel a lot more comfortable. And a few days ago, I actually ran into a VTuber who feels pretty much the same on Twitter. A few days ago, the VTuber Cabal announced that he was going to take a step back from streaming and focus more on YouTube in order to give more time to himself and his health, which I totally understand. And honestly, it's just nice to know that I'm not alone in my experience, that he felt it as well. So I know this video has been short and kind of an unstructured mess, but essentially the little message I just want to give to anyone who is VTubing but realizes that they struggle with streaming, give YouTube a shot and please don't feel like a failure. You are not a failure if this is not what you want to do. Like I said, streaming is a lot, a lot more than you imagine it to be when you're on the outside. And make sure you're focusing on the content that you want to do. Don't try going for views first. I wish you nothing but the best in your journey. So thanks to everybody who listened to this short little video today. My next video will be coming up on October 31st. I'm really excited for that one. I've got a few surprises and I feel like I really found my style with this video. So make sure you tune into that. Thank you for tuning in today. This is Radio WLRE signing off.